Good morning, community of faith. Uh, actually, it's good afternoon, isn't it? Good noon. Good noon, good noon. Here we go. It's a Tuesday morning. Time to be in prayer and uh, do the work <clears throat> that God has given us to do. Yes. I was using it for set time and that didn't work. So, how you doing today, guys? It is now... Uh-oh. Well, here we go. We'll just keep it just like that. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Make sure nobody's going to start talking in the middle of this thing. Thank you for being a part of this community of faith. And, um, love, I forgot my prayer book. If you could help me, please. Thank you. Um, today, we're going to very specifically, again, be praying for the, um, the situation with the fires and the hurricanes. And you and I just basically saying to the world, you are going to come in order now because this is the plan of God that this world be in order. And regardless of the chaos, you and I got to look at the word, which is the proper force and source of strength and declare thy will be done on this earth. Thy will be done on this earth in Jesus mighty name. Now you can tell today I am in a little bit of a difference um, in my uh, surroundings. What did you do with my notes? Hi right there. Um, but I, I'm all set up for the faith conference. And so I'm going to just stay in my setup mode because I truly am um, studying this faith conference. I hope you're able to study it some more, at least another time or two. We were able to study uh, Dr. Tudor Bismarck's um, message again. What an amazing message that that actually is. And then I've listened to Brother Copeland again. From last night, a couple times, I got his prophetic utterance at the beginning. He might not be your favorite kind of music to sing, but it's okay. He was uh, singing and uh, worshiping the Lord. And so I encourage you to continue to be with it. Tonight's Brother Jesse Duplantis. And throughout this afternoon, we're going to go around and find things that we can share and make sure we got this process down. Because I really want you to be able to be a part of it. They got great music. And as long as we're sharing somebody else's stuff, then we don't have to worry about all that music thing. You actually get to worship and sing and praise. And like um, like Shannon said the other night, first time in a long time, I felt like I could sing, shout, dance, jump, cry, laugh, and do it all in one service. <laughs> and, and, and what you find out is that's the way it ought to be every time we get together. Dan Cottle, man, good afternoon. Where are you, brother? I'm home even though I... The more I look at this, I feel like I'm in a, I'm not going to say that. I'm at home, everybody. Good to have you with us. How you doing, Brother Dan? Love you, man. We missed you. I know you had stuff he was doing, but just so you know, we missed you. Uh, you're a part of what goes on here. And um, God is blessing you, and God is blessing you <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't ever let anybody take away the blessing that our Father has given to you and brought to you in Jesus' mighty name. And as we say every time, 
Charles Landrup. Hey, welcome, sir. It's good to have you with us today. Where, where are you at today, Charles? God bless you, man. I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm at all this wickedness has to stop because we are the body of Christ. And when Jesus was on this earth, ain't nobody, ain't no thing stopped our Jesus anywhere on the face of this earth. And it's going to continually keep happening that way with you and me. So today, the, the title of today is Take Dominion of the Whole Earth. Uh, yesterday, we were, we were studying um, in the book of, uh, not Deuteronomy. Yeah, Deuteronomy, all God's blessing. Joel, where God said, Take courage, land. The early rain and the latter rain's coming, and my people will never be put to shame. Now think about this. God promised rain to the land. You want to say it with me just to start this program out? All the monsoon rain, all the hurricane rain, switch and go to where they need it in California beyond anybody's ability to understand why it moved. We don't care what the weatherman says. We don't care what the, the people who call themselves an authority says. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus whether you obey the word of God and this word says that we have dominion over all the earth everywhere it is. In the mighty, awesome, wonderful name of Jesus. Right now, fires go out. Rain, saturate the western United States. Just saturate it. Fill up every reservoir. Yes. Yes. And lightning strike every person who is doing evil against our country. Amen. We call on you, God our Father. We call on the angels of Almighty God. We declare at the very root, our president wipes out these domestic terrorists at their root, confiscates their, the, the originating funds, and uses it to pay back every person who's lost a house and lost a business in all of this wickedness. Amen. We call it done right now in the name of Jesus. President Trump, you have our permission. You have our backing. You have our encouragement. Move, move powerfully. Move boldly. Move confidently against these domestic terrorists in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout a really big amen, 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 amen and amen. amen. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. All right. That's awesome, Dan. Thank God you're home. Uh, the good thing about being home is home. You got to love home. Uh, it was fun seeing all y'all when we were out there in Michigan, but um, ain't no place like home. Now, we've already been home long enough. It's time to jump in the plane and <laughs> fly to California and see my other kids. Then it's time to fly down to Mississippi and see Angel and Phyllis Raymond and where are you at? It's time for us to jump in the plane and come see you too. In the mighty name of Jesus. And guess what? If the rich, perverse, wicked pornographers can have a jet, yeah. then we, the men of God with an inheritance in heaven, should be able to do the same thing. Amen. For the work of God, for the blessing of the, of, the, of the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command right now, all over this world, that presidents and vice presidents and cabinets open up their airports, drop the whole COVID uh, nonsense, and this world comes back to life now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They have no ability to stop it. Every communist is put on their butt, and they must stop this nonsense in our nation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray this right now. 
in Jesus mighty name now hi Elisa. hi Elisa welcome aboard young lady you are important to us and we love you and we bless you and we bless Rob we bless your kids we bless your dog and your cats <laughs> Don't even know if you have them, but we bless them anyways. <laughs> we bless you with that wisdom to know exactly the plan and steps of Almighty God in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name. And, um, you know, we don't just say, God bless you. We mean it. I mean, I, I know some people say, well, doesn't everybody mean it? Well, yeah. But when I say blessing, I mean empowered to prosper and be blessed and be healthy and be sound of mind and wonderful courage and faith and peace in your family and no enemy giving you trouble anywhere because you're just walking in the things of God in Jesus' mighty name. That's, that's the word blessing. Empowered to prosper abundantly beyond any destruction in Jesus' mighty name. If you didn't hear the beginning of Brother Copeland's message last night at the faith conference, he prophesied about America. And he said, God's had a covenant with America um, for many, many years. Now, you know, the original um, uh, pilgrims, when they come over, that was 1600. That was 400 years ago. So, the idea about America is we've had a covenant with God. God does not break his covenant. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. And that's what you and I do right here every single time we come together in Jesus' mighty name. Now, those of you that didn't join us right at the beginning, we've already been praying for the nation. We've already prayed for the fires to stop, for the rain to go, for the uh, hurricane to stop. And we're on this. We've already prayed for President Trump to move swiftly and severely against these domestic terrorists and put them all in prison. Every single one of them. Amen. Um, we don't have a problem with, your, with you um, staging a protest. It's got to be organized and it can't destroy anybody else's stuff or it's not a protest. So, senators and representatives, you better get busy and give us a bill right now that limits this thing. And every one of you that refuse to do it, which is what needs to happen, and you know it, we command in the realm of the Spirit, your political career comes to an end because God is removing everyone who refuses to unite. I do not back down. I'm not afraid of anybody. We declare in the name of Jesus, unite one nation under God, or you are wiped off and your political career is forgotten, and you'll never have a voice again. We declare over every incumbent, every person that nobody says they can get in, they get in because God moves against those who are here to destroy the United States of America. We say it in Jesus' mighty name, and we say it with the greatest of confidence and courage and boldness that we've ever had in Jesus' mighty, awesome, wonderful name. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, here we go. It is time to rise, say the Pledge of Allegiance, have a moment of silence, um, sing God bless America. We've already prayed for America. And when we come back, real quick, we're going through our Believer's Prayer Book and we'll say our prayers over the community of faith. Then we're going to get these verses God's given us and then we'll pray one more time before we go. In Jesus' mighty name, we're going to get all of that done in the next 44 minutes. Are you ready? Here we go. You will rise and let's make our pledge of allegiance to this great nation under God. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all 
And now we'll have a moment of silence as we remember those who are missing in action and still serving today. This moment of silence will honor those who put their life on the line as a as a warrior. Today they're veterans. Those who bear the scars in their body, in their spirit, in their soul. Those that's paid the last full measure of devotion and for the lives of their family. It is very fitting and proper that during a uh, moment of silence that you stand silently with your head bowed, your hand over your heart in honor of their selfless, courageous service. This moment of silence will last for 21 seconds in honor of the 21 rifle volleys that are fired at the funeral of a fallen soldier. Join me now for this moment of silence. Now, if you will, sing with me, God bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairie. To the ocean, white with foam, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet Thank you. May God bless America today. Ah, let's take the May out. That's old religion. And let's get the May out. God has blessed the United States of America since the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. If you will now. Um, get out your cup of coffee and heat it up. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Pastor Joe Cottle, we bless you. We're going to read, we're going to read now from the Community of Faith prayer book. If you haven't received one of these and you'd like one, we'll be glad to send it to you because we want you to be able to keep your faith with us. Uh, we want you to be able to pray for us. Let's pray for Pastor Joe and all pastors. Lord, right now, Pastor Joe Cottle's with us. Um, Brother Tam Beer doesn't usually get up this early because <laughs> it's early morning for him. But we bless Brother Tan Beer. And, and, and we bless Pastor Tan Beer Body. We bless Pastor Joe Cottle. We bless every pastor that connects themselves with us. And we declare... In the mighty name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow with it to be theirs in Jesus' mighty name. May everything you've told them to do come to pass in Jesus' mighty name in their ministries. We declare right now all across the United States of America and around the world, every pastor, of every church, every fivefold ministry leader, stand up in your office and get bold. Stand up. It's no different here in America than it is where you are. You are the body of Christ and so are we. Your nation may not have a covenant with God like ours, 
But God has never failed his people anywhere. And according to the book of Romans, there's <laughs> one God, one Father, one nation of people. That's Ephesians, not Romans. <laughs> and we call it done. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither male nor female. There's neither bond nor free. We are all one in our God and Father. And we welcome you and we declare over you. Stand up boldly today and be exactly what our God has called you to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody in agreement, shout a great, big, huge amen, amen and amen and amen. Now, here we go. We're going to the confession for an awesome day. It's pages three, four, and five. This is our prayer over the members here of the community of faith. And we're going to say it again right now today. All right. Good afternoon, Mr. Mike Tony in the ear. <laughs> Love you, brother. God bless you, man. We're glad to have you with us, even if we're only in your ear. We like it better when you're looking at us in the eye, but hey, carry us in the ear. At least we're real close to your brain, and that's a real trip. <laughs> Love you, brother. <laughs> Number one, Father God, we thank you that today is an awesome day for our community of faith, the entire body of Christ. We thank you that we arise with the joy of the Lord and keep rejoicing all the days of our lives. Thank you that you make us happy with wisdom. Your grace and favor pour out abundantly upon us. Number five, we are enjoying life more abundantly. We have eternal life. We choose life and exercise sound judgment. You order our steps and make our way perfect. You give us peace that passes all understanding. We always hope and trust in you, Lord, and see your goodness. We walk in great faith and in the truth as we fulfill our assignments, our purposes, our missions, and goals. Number 11, thank you that your love in and through us never fails. We are blessed and we are a blessing to all families and nations. We have victory and good success on every hand. Our work develops our potential and power to get wealth. We overcome every obstacle by faith. Number 16, we bring forth much fruit that remains. We are the head above only and the lender. Your creative power in and through us brings us great increase, Lord. We prosper and have good success at work and at play. Thank you that we enjoy 100% employment and kingdom work. And we are fulfilled in our work and enjoy great benefits. Number 21, we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We are doers of God's word and the works of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that signs, wonders, and miracles follow us because we believe we speak with wisdom and our words are with power. Thank you that we are protected from all evil and no weapon formed against us can prosper. We bear the fruit of the Spirit and manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 26. We train our children in the ways of the Lord to be godly seed. 
Thank you that our families are saved, blessed, and prospering. Our households and communities are peaceful and loving. There is no lack among us because we seek the Lord. The blessing has made us rich without sorrow or painful toil. 31. Thank you, Lord, that we are healthy and sickness and disease cannot come nigh us. Our minds are renewed by the word of God and we are transformed into the image of Christ. Our lives reflect and establish the kingdom culture and our leadership influences our environment for good. We seek first your kingdom, Lord, and every need is met. We delight ourselves in the Lord, and you give us the desires of our hearts. Thank you, our God is with us, and we are zealous of good works. Lord, manifest your glory to and through us, and make this the best day of our lives. Make us a praise in the earth, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. You know, with prayers like that, how are you not the most boldest people on the face of this earth right there? Now listen. You want what? I know. Everybody pray for me because Sister Leanne wants to do the rest of the book. And I have an assignment by God to do some scripture. Now, I'm done and I'm not getting in that hole because that takes a ladder to get out of. Here we go. Have a drink of coffee. And these are our verses for this week. Now I want you to realize, uh, uh, you probably already do. I want you to be able to see, if you haven't noticed it yet, that God gives us a couple verses for the week. And then we just stay there. Sometimes it's a week, seven, ten days, it doesn't matter. But it's what he wants us to keep hammering it. What's it do? It gets it down seated in, in our heart. This is the coolest thing about the community of faith. You guys have received such strength and wisdom of the word of God that I am very confident that when anybody comes in here and puts a prayer request in, you guys will immediately start typing a prayer in. Why? Because you've done this word enough that you know it and it's down in your heart and your, your words of prayer, even while I'm teaching, goes right into people's lives. It's like last night when Brother Ken Miller came on and he said that about his wife, and they, they think the cancer's come back. No, no, and no. No. But this is the cool thing. You guys didn't wait for me to start praying. You just took off praying. Angel come in and said that about her, her cousin Sandy. You, <laughs> you guys didn't wait for me. You just, you were gone. You were doing it. And, uh, and that's a wonderful thing, and I thank you for that. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Now, here we go. These are our verses for um, for this week. Um, let me see. So the first set is Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. Now, I do not have time to read all that, but that's the chapter where God said, I'm going to bless you here and there and everywhere and your body and your dog and your cat and your bank and your field and everything you do. And you're going to be the lender to many nations, not bow, be the head and above, head above only, not beneath. And your enemy is going to flee from you seven ways. You ready? Say it with me. Communism, Communism. flee seven, seven ways. Socialism, Socialism. flee seven, seven ways. Racism, flee seven, flee seven ways. Terrorism, Terrorism. we bind you. Flee seven ways. Right here according to the word of Almighty God. Now watch. 
Do you realize that prayer is as important and it is as good a prayer to pray as the one that's like, Oh, God, if you could just come today and have mercy upon. No, no, no. God don't need all that. That's called theatrics. God said, speak the word. Say it with me. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Do you remember what that verse was I, I pulled up the other a little while ago? Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. And Joel 2, 18 through 27. And I'll tell you that again too. If if and you need me to. Um, that was the word completion. All right. So here, here's the reality of what we're doing every time we come here. We're standing in the authority in who we are. The book of Deuteronomy, God says, you are blessed in every way. What we just said to the isms that they must flee seven ways, the angels now take those words and they just fly through the realm of the spirit dealing with our enemies of terrorism, our enemies of communism, socialism, fascism, feminism, all the isms that are destroying. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. Somebody add this. This just came to me. Second Corinthians chapter eight. Verses 10 and 11. Watch this. In this, I give advice. It is to your advantage, not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do. Paul said a year ago, but I'll say two months ago, three months ago, whatever. But now you must also complete the doing of it. That as there was a readiness to desire it, so there also may be a completion of it out of what you have. Now, why you put that verse in there? Because you and I have been in authority and dominion since we started coming together on Facebook Live. Uh, that's the first thing I started teaching. And I'm going to tell you something. It don't make a difference where we go from now till Jesus comes. That's going to be the thing I teach every time. Why? Because until you understand that you're in authority and dominion, you won't function right on this earth. You'll be letting things run over top of you. And there ain't no run over top of nothing as a, as a, a child of God. All right. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 is you are above and not beneath in any way. Joel chapter 2. And here we go. Uh, we're going to go to verse number. Where to go? Beast of the field. 21 and 22. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord has done wondrous things. The land of the United States of America, God has done wondrous things for us. Fire, go out today. Rain, fall in the western United States from Mexico to Canada and just saturate our states now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Soaking gentle rain that puts every fire out and the ability to put no more fire started. And every one of you domestic terrorists who are starting fires, the fire of God will burn up your own life because the pit you dig for another, you fall into it yourself. The stone you roll down the mountain on somebody else crushes you. Get away from these terrorists, you Americans. And if you don't, the God of heaven has moved swiftly in judgment against you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I'm going to give you a bunch of scripture to remind you who we are. The most important thing is get the reference and a simple statement with it if you can. You guys, versateers, you each grab one. Watch God get this done. Are you ready? Because I'm going to be done today at noon. Ready? You got the clock on? The first one is Exodus. 
chapter 33, verse number 19. God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. That is what our God wants for you every day. Listen, he's not your God, although he is. He's your father. God is your father. And he said, I'm going to make my goodness pass before you. Next Psalm. Psalm 133, 1 through 3. It's all right if some of you put something else in here. How good and pleasant it is to dwell together in unity. That brings a commanded blessing. Now watch. Joe's here. Pastor Joe's here. Sister Elisa Craig's here. Brother Dan Cottle's here. Not quite sure everybody else that's here. I've not seen anybody else sign in. So, um... That's three of us. Leanne and I are here. And then we got the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he said there's a commanded blessing comes together when we get together. The companion of fools will suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy in the name of Jesus. Now get away from these wicked people in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, we pray. Esther, chapter 4, verses 13 through 15. Thank you, Elisa. For such a time as this, you have come to this kingdom. Say it with me. I came to the kingdom for this time. Pastor Joe Cottle. God placed you on you on this earth in this kingdom at this time. Elisa Craig, God placed you on this earth in this kingdom at this time on purpose. And now all the rest of the community of faith that I can't see, I declare to you right now in the name of Jesus, God placed you on this earth in this kingdom on purpose right now for this time. The gifts, talents, and abilities are in your brother Mike Tony. God placed you on this earth at this time on purpose for his glory. Now watch this. Psalm 119, 98 through 103. Psalm 119, 98 through 103. I love this one. You, through your commandments, makes me wiser than my enemies shannon tony welcome we love you you're a blessing you're important to this body thank you for being such a wonderful blessing to us in jesus mighty name psalm 119 98 through 103 watch this you, through your commandments, makes me, we'll say us, makes us wiser than our enemies. Hey, Tisha Jones, we command you to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Popping in before work. Today, Tisha is the one that is taking popcorn to her work. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was it was it was there and I just said it. So it was bad, Joe. I was I was trying real hard, but it anyways. One nineteen ninety eight through one oh three. Elisa got it in there. All right, now watch this. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, then he said, I'll hear from heaven. I'll hear in heaven and forgive and heal your land. Thank you, Father, that you've heard us. Everybody, Brother Robert Mulderman's welcome, sir. Salute to you. 
And Brother Mike, all our veterans, we command you to be blessed today, Brother Mike, Brother Robert. Wait, where's our friends, the other male person? Luann and Arlo. God bless them wherever they are today, Jesus. Yeah, we love you too, Robert. Watch this. We are his people. We have humbled ourselves. We are praying right now. Everybody here has said, I ain't walking into the paths of wickedness at all. We've humbled ourselves to say, we don't have it. God, we need your help. Because you and I are doing this, he is answering our prayers. He is answering our prayers. Now, I got word throughout this last week that the first week of COVID lockdown, governors were shaking in their shoes of preachers. That was our prayer. And I got word this last week that um, that actually happened. And governor said, I ain't messing with that preacher to get him out of my Get him out of my office. Give him whatever he wants. Now listen to this. You, you're not going to hear that on the news because you got to use great wisdom as a leader. But it's happening all over this nation. And you and I declare right now, we have humbled ourselves in praying. And God Almighty has now moved against all of these people. Their days are numbered. Their offices will be vacant of them. And according to the prophetic utterance from the book of Psalms, another will take their position and their office will be vacant of them. They will lose their place in history if they refuse to unite and stand against domestic terrorism in the United States of America. Say it. We're wiser than our enemies. Amen. We've come here for such a time as this. I love it. I'm telling you right now. We have a commanded blessing of Almighty God. All right. Here's the next one. Where to go? Second Chronicles 20, 22, and 23. It says, When they began to sing and praise the Lord, sing and praise, the Lord set ambushments against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. And they stood up and destroyed each other. We praise your name, O God. We give you glory, O God. We thank you that our faith and our hope is not in the Republicans or the Democrats. Our faith and our hope is in you, Lord. And now we call upon the Republicans and the Democrats, anybody in political office, to stand against domestic terrorism, confiscate all the funds that is supporting it, and pay off the houses and businesses of people's lives who've been destroyed in this domestic terrorism. We the people of the United States of America give you a give you permission and we give you that assignment to define protest so that it is not removed and yet immediately incarcerate those who commit arson and destroy lives Amen. everyone who's murdered someone you go to prison for life everyone who's burned down a business you go to prison for prison for life now we declare over the United States of America as we the people, stop this domestic terrorism by the power of God that comes from our prayer right here, right now, in Jesus' name. Now this is the cool thing. And God sent ambushments against the enemy so they destroyed one another. We prayed this at the beginning. And we pray it again right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, what I love about our God is our God is a consuming fire. 
and our God doesn't have any problem at all wiping out our enemy. He just needs you and me to give him that voice so that things can happen on this earth. Now, let's grab another verse that I do not have in my notes. Let's go to Psalm 103. Go there quickly. My time is fast leaving me. The timer is set. Psalm 103. And um, we're going to read 17 through 22. I'm actually going to read them. Psalm 103, 17 through 22. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to your children's children. Say it with me right now. My children will be righteous because of me. Amen? Amen. You and I fear the Lord, so there's your promise that your children will be righteous. Now watch. To such as keep his commandments and to those who remember his commandments to do them. 19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all thy kingdom come thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven his kingdom rules over all verse 20 bless the lord you angels who excel in strength who do his word you and I have been speaking his word this morning. The angels are busy doing this word because we have made this a house of prayer and we speak his word in prayer. Now, some people say, well, Brother Samuel, you don't sound much like you're praying. Wait, praying is saying Jesus said, when you pray, say to that mountain. It's not you saying, oh, Lord, would you please move the mountain? It, God's saying, you tell that mountain to move. We command domestic terrorism. You are bound. And all of your effects are bound. And you will not function in this nation. And if you continually try to pervert our schools... God will shut the school down and everybody will be taught at home and um, your voices will be silenced because they will not be in control of this earth. His kingdom rules over all. All power, all authority, all might, all dominion, all strength belongs to Jesus. 21. Bless the Lord, all you his host, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Now, I want to grab one more set of verses. It's not here for some reason. Not quite sure why they're not there. Matthew chapter 18. And um, we're going down verses 15 through 20. And these are the verses that tell us where two or three of us are gathered together in his name. Here we go. Verse, um, we're going down to verse 18. Surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. 19. Again, if two of you agree on earth touching anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst. Thank you, community of faith, for standing with us in faith for America in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. One more time, let's pray this prayer. All power. All authority, all might, all dominion 
has been given to you, Jesus. You said to us, we're the fullness of the Godhead in bodily form. And we receive it. You gave us the righteousness of Jesus. We receive it. You made us ministers of reconciliation. We receive it. You named us ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. We receive it. And we live in it. You said we are heirs of God and join heirs with Jesus. Therefore, as your family on this earth, Father, we stand in authority and dominion in our corner of the earth right now and we declare thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Right here, right now today, in Jesus' mighty name. Brother Robert's got the mail truck going. Sister Shannon's probably at her house. Brother Mike is over there in Tulsa. Brother Joe's somewhere in western Michigan. Sister Lisa's somewhere around Houston. Here we are in North Dakota. Sister Tisha is there somewhere in, in the wonderful Tri-Cities area in, in uh, wonderful Tri-City, Michigan. And anyone else who's with us, we bless them in Jesus' mighty name. And we declare, we bring dominion to this earth. We declare, God bless America. Every bit of corruption be exposed. Every bit of debauchery and wickedness be silenced. Every porn shop closed. Every pornographer, uh, what's the word? Never again allowed to do that business. Every one of these pedophilia people, your mouths silenced. May your tongue cleave to the roof of your mouth. Your mouth silenced. You are not allowed to function in our America. We do not permit it. We are the force. And you just do nothing but get run over by us. Because you have no power over us. We are the force. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we stand in that power. And we declare today on every level. Wickedness has no more covers that can cover it. Dark is dark. And light is light. And we the American people come to light now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father we declare that there are wicked people. Who decide to uncover the corruption. And to get on the side of right. Even if they spend the rest of their life in prison. Step up now. Stand up now. And uncover the wickedness. The corruption. And the debauchery. That has gone on in our nation. And we command you to do it now. Because it will give you life in heaven. It will give you peace in heaven. You will find God on the inside. And his mercy will be yours. Now, Father, I pray that these leaders of this domestic terrorism can find you. I, I, I don't know that they can because they're, they're hands that shed innocent blood. They have feet that are running swift to evil. They, they are false witness that spews out lies. And they sow discord amongst the brethren. And you said you hate them people. So I don't know if they can get right with you. If they can, fine. But we say not another day of domestic terrorism in our nation. Not from Islam, not from um, communism and any of this stuff. You can't, you, no more in our life. Not in America. This is one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We declare this in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. I want you to see what time it is. Well, the only thing that's left. 
is our closing prayer verses. Thank you, guys. Hi, Rebecca. It's good to see you, ma'am. It's good to see you. Good to have you guys with us. We'll talk about tonight's stream when we're finished with our closing verses of Scripture. Thank you, guys, for standing with us. Thank you. My heart is pure of hatred and anger toward anyone. I have, no, I have no I have no hatred at all. But you don't get to destroy another day. You don't get to molest another child. You're not you're not going to make uh, uh, make it so men can be in women's bathroom. We don't, we don't accept that. That's perversion. You can't you can't be here. Can't make child sexual films. Can't do that. May your buildings burn down. May your cameras fail. May your businesses fall apart. May your computers crash. In the name of Jesus, you are wicked and you're perverse. May your, May your sexual organs go numb and fall off. Straight from May Sister Dr. Dr. Reverend Couch over there. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, here we go. Psalm 23. Matthew chapter 6, the Lord's Prayer. And Psalm 91. Thank you, guys, for your faith. Thank you that you stand with us. Thank you that you allow God to lead us in a, no, a whole new revelation of what prayer is. Because there's a whole lot of prayer that is nothing more than theatrics. God doesn't need you and I to tell him what he already knows. He needs you and I to speak to the mountain. I think sometimes when we begin to tell God what he already knows, he has the yawn. Oh, how boring is this? Speak to the mountain. Speak to the mountain. And so thank you for growing with us. Seriously. I, I, I am more encouraged now than I've ever been in my ministerial life at all. I'm, I am grown farther than I've ever been in my, in my own personal Christian life. Farther than I've ever been. And I thank you guys for being a part of it. We love to have you here with us. And that's not just a statement. Here we go, Psalm 91. I've posted it in the comments. Since you live... In the shelter of Elyon. Well, he's inside you. And you make your home in the shadow of Shaddai. He, he came inside you. You can say to Yahweh, my fortress, my refuge, my God, in whom I trust. He rescues you from the snares of fowlers, hoping to destroy you. He covers you with his feathers. And underneath, <laughs> the arrow that flies in the daytime, the plague that stalks in the dark, the scourge that wreaks havoc in broad daylight. Pause. I rebuke terror at night. You must cease now. May hail fall from heaven on you. May the God of the Old Testament move against you and by his action bring peace in our streets. No more arrows in the daytime. No more plague that you created. No more scourge that wreaks havoc. May your crowds that stop streets be run over and people be wiped out and put to death. You're a fool. You're a fool. Get out of the streets. God has judged against you. Amen. All right. Though a thousand fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, you yourself shall remain unscathed with his faithfulness for shield and buckler. You have only to look around to see the wicked are repaid. You who can say, 
Yahweh my refuge and make Elyon your fortress. No disaster can overtake you. No plague come near your tent. He will put you angels charge to guard you wherever you go. They will support you on their hands in case you hurt your foot against a stone. You will tread on lion and adder, trample on savage lions and dragons. I rescue all who cling to me. I protect everyone knows my name. I answer everyone who invokes me. I am with me. Life long and full and show them how I can save in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, hold on. Pastor Joe is going to give us a verse here. We have used the scripture about Ammon and the ambushes effectively before as a prayer to break evil coalitions. We say the evil coalitions that are at work in the USA turn against each other and consume one another. Amen. Amen. And amen, according to Second Chronicles chapter 20. We stand in agreement with that statement in Jesus' mighty name. Let's do Psalm 23 next. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. You lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup runs over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever elisa typed us the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Shannon put it in too. I love you guys doing these verses. I'm telling you, it does not hurt how many times these verses are in here at all. At all. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate your gift helping us in Jesus' name. We together, standing as one, will be stronger than anyone can imagine. Amen. Brother Robert Mulderman, all the way from the mail route today. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Now let's talk about tonight. Because last night we had um, what seemed to be a mess. <laughs> and I, I don't like messes. Because we got a good thing going. All right. And um, so from the point of view of that, I like to keep things moving like they are in order. Now, I really want us to hear what Brother Jesse has to say tonight. Seriously. I want you to be able to enjoy the um, faith conference. It is a conference designed to build your faith. I thought it was very interesting that Sunday night, um, Bishop Tudor Bismarck basically preached what I was preaching, what I've been preaching. 
Last night, Brother Copeland actually used the verse of scripture that I used yesterday. Right there. Brother Copeland did. There's no brag in it. It's like we are connected. Now watch. Tonight is Brother Jesse to plan us. So, so here's my plan. I, we have no idea what was going on because we could not find the button anywhere last night that said start a watch party. So this afternoon, I'm going to spend some time figuring out how to share a watch party on this website, on our Facebook page here. Now, I say that to you because you guys are going to see it pop up. I'm going to do a bunch of them because I'm going to master this before tonight. So don't feel like you got to come and be a part of every one of them. If you have time this afternoon and you can help us master this, we we very much want, want that help to master this so that tonight it's as smooth as silk. All right. At 6.30, I'm going to come on and just be on live. I'm going to be sitting right here because we're out here in the living room where we got our big screen TV and we can watch it and have more people here and sit a little more comfortably. Now, I'm going to go live probably on my phone. And I'm just going to be on here. And I'm just going to, we're going to just be together and have fun as a family. All right. So if you want to come on, that's 630 uh, Central. All right. Which is 730 Eastern. That way we can be here and be together and everybody get focused on what we're going to do. Then I'm going to do my best to make a watch party. Now, this is what I learned last night. Even though that it didn't do a watch party, if you still went to our page, we could all comment in there underneath one of the screens, still see it, still watch it, and all be together. That's the most important thing about it. Sister Angel last night started a watch party, but here's the problem with that of anybody else starting a watch party. If we're not your friends, we don't get to be a part of it. And I've said to you guys over and over, you don't have to be friends with anybody on here that you don't want to. Uh, matter of fact, be very careful about it so you're not taken advantage of by spammers and by and by crazy people. Who, who, who knows? Who's, anybody that likes the page can come on here and be a part of the program. Um, and then once you're here, and if you show us that you are dumb, stupid, ignorant, then off you go, and you're not going to be a part of it. So I'm saying all of that because I really want you to be a part. We're going to be able to have the praise and worship. Last night's praise and worship was awesome, even though it came and went. If you want to hear last night's worship again, it's on Facebook and YouTube today. You can go right now and watch last night's worship again. That that um, Hispanic lady that sang that song, whew, that's got a serious anointing level on it. If you know how to sing in Spanish, turn on last night's program on the faith conference and sing that song with her. It's at the very end of the singing. And whoo, Jesus, that lady carries. She's got a very amazing anointing and a powerful, powerful voice. Um, but more important than the voice is the anointing on her life. And I want to be a part of that tonight. And that way you can enjoy this faith conference just as if you were going there with it. Um, this is, what is tonight? Tuesday? Yeah. Wednesday night is Samuel Rodriguez. One of the greatest leaders in the, in the Latin American culture of, this, of our nation. All right. And then um, Creflo Dollar on, on um, Thursday, pretty much. Creflo is going to preach a message about get out of your works and get into faith. <laughs> and he's got a big old stick about works and religionism. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, Dr. Winston closes it all out on Friday night. And by Friday night, this thing is kicking, man. And you know what I say? By Friday night, may Chicago be so scared of Dr. Winston. They say, invite everybody that you want and the whole building will be full. How many, how many of you want to put your faith on that with me right now? In Jesus' mighty name. Chicago, you, are, you have stood against the man of God and your kingdom falls. 
your you will no longer be the corruptest county in the in the nation we bind your corruption and we command every political office be changed this time for righteousness and for holiness because that's what we're all about in the name of jesus we pray in the name of jesus we pray now does anybody ask a question about any of that anybody i was just sitting there going now amen rebecca that's good your mind is alert we put our faith with that your brain is okay we put our faith with that your memory is better and better every day in every way in jesus holy name remember this one rebecca the memory of the upright is blessed right out of the book of uh of uh some proverbs psalms or proverbs somewhere there all right well we're going to be done a little early i got the revelation verses as the last verses so throughout the afternoon if you see me pop up with a watch party and you want to jump in there that's fine you can um whatever i find i'm going to try to find all church things kind of christian things but if i can't find them i'll put up news articles or something because i want to master sharing a watch party by tonight so you'll see it pop up all right quick prayer for mary pastorick oh that's right she's in the hospital isn't she father in the name of jesus we declare speedy recovery for our mary pastorick you sent us a wonderful senior saint lord thank you for her and now we declare health and strength of someone 10 years or younger at the mighty name of jesus every organ every tissue every cell every joint the very marrow of your bone functioning properly Amen. every organ working perfectly together in every one of our bodies in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray you got anything else amen and amen all right well let's do revelation and we'll be done here they come it's in the comments now and and shannon uh do we have mary's phone number it um shannon if you can get a message to her tell her to call us we'll pray with her i don't think we have her phone number do we we got her address and her messenger that's how i always communicate with her so all right here we go and i heard a loud voice from heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people god himself will be their god will be with them and be their god say this with me he's with me he's with me right now all right four and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes there shall be no more death nor sorrow nor crying there shall be no more pain the former things have passed away then he who sat on the throne said behold i make all things new and he said to me right for these words are true and faithful and he said to me it is done i am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end pause so when was it done before the foundation of the world it was done keep going i will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts he who overcomes shall inherit all things and i will be his god and he shall be my son behold 
I come quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. He who testifies to these things says, surely I come quickly. Even, amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with you all amen and amen and amen we did it in jesus mighty name hey we had a good miracle this morning somehow our cat got out don't know he had to be really slick to get out he had to go out the door when we opened it and we didn't see him and he's never been outside since we've been here and he's almost 20 years old. And we searched the house and out the door we went. And the am was outside ready to come back in and said, Roman. And he goes, meow. And he was hiding underneath the car. Thank you, Lord, that we found our cat. You even love cats. I don't love cats too much, Lord, but I thank you that oh, you love you cats. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. I call you guys blessed. May you have a wonderful afternoon. Um, so pretty much about 6.30, you'll see me come live. Um, nothing official at this point, but because um, Dr. Winston's actually taking communion at the end of the program. Um, and um, I'm just going to be here and we can talk and laugh and have a good time and then get ready to sing and shout. And, and, and uh, hey, on the watch party. Don't hesitate to make comments, put the verses of scripture in just like any other time. And let's have a great time tonight in the message and, and in the faith conference in Jesus' mighty name. All right, here we go. Brother Tantvir, I didn't see you today, but I call you blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, today his kids went to school. Today, Brother Tanvir's kids went to school. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless we bless Pastor Tanvir and Nassim. We bless Isaiah, Jeremiah, Fady, Terza, and Joy with a wonderful day of school today. And all of the children here, Elisa's kids are in school. All of the children, we declare, God bless our children and keep them safe and protected in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, like we say every time we come here. We love you and God loves you. And Jesus.